Hello friends! We have a story called Grover's 10 Terrific Ways to Help Our Wonderful World. And that's going to give us some ideas on how we can keep our planet happy, keep Earth happy. Hello everybody! Isn't this not beautiful? The world is such a wonderful place. The world is our home. The mountains and deserts and rivers and lakes belong to us all. The world gives us everything we need to live, food to eat and water to drink and air to breathe. The world also gives us snow, sunshine and rain. The world takes good care of us, so we must all take care of the world. Oh, I know we can do it. I, Grover, your cute furry world ranger, will now tell you 10 terrific ways to help our wonderful world. Respect and be kind to all living things. Everybody take turns. Me share cookie crumbs, very tasty cookie monster sharing his cookie crumbs with the animals. Number two, take care of plants in your neighborhood. Elmo loves to dig. Elmo and Henry Harry are planting a tree. Number three, reuse things rather than throwing them away. Ernie plants his seeds in empty milk cartons. When the plants are big enough, he'll pull them in a window box. He'll put them in a window box. Bert sorts his brown buttons and shiny paper clips into an old egg carton. So they're re reusing materials instead of throwing them in the garbage. Grouches are great at making treasures out of trash. Is something broken? I hope. That's Oscar the Grouch. He likes garbage. He lives in a garbage can. Number four, give used and outgrown clothes, books, or toys to someone who might want them. When Snuffy's sweater gets too small for him, he gives them to his little sister, Alice. When Elmo learns to ride a two-wheeler, he will give his tricycle to baby Natasha. So instead of throwing his bicycle out, he's going to give it to baby Natasha instead. Number five, choose things that can be used over and over again. Big Bird carries his own shopping bag to the store instead of getting a new bag every time. Prairie Dawn takes her lunch in a lunchbox instead of in a plastic bag. Instead of throwing broken things away, buy new things first. Oh, number six is fix broken things. So they're saying instead of throwing broken things away and buying new things, first see if you can repair them. My desk was broken and instead of getting a new desk, I got some glue and I fixed the screws and now my desk is good. So I don't have to buy a new desk. So it's better to try to fix things first. Number seven, do not waste water. Use just what you need. Bert turns off the faucet instead of running the water while he brushes his teeth. That's helping to save water. Ernie keeps water in the refrigerator instead of letting the tap run until the water gets cold. Number eight, do not waste energy. Betty Lou uses cool water instead of warm water whenever she can. It takes energy to heat water. Cookie Monster closes the refrigerator door quickly so the cold air can't get out. It also takes energy to cool air. Telly turns off the TV when his show is over. Instead of just leaving the TV on all day, when he's not watching, he turns it off. Are you ready? One, two, three, lights out. Ha <laughs> ha. The Count turns off the lights when he leaves a room. So he doesn't leave the light on if he's not in that room. He turns it off and that saves electricity. 
Number nine, always put trash where it belongs. We'll have this park cleaned up in a jiffy. So they're picking up all the garbage and throwing it away and all the things that can be recycled like cans and glass and cardboard, they're recycling them. Number 10, recycle paper, bottles, plastic, and cans. Recycling means using old things to make new things. When we recycle things instead of throwing them away, there is a lot less trash in the world. I, World Ranger Grover, and my friends take bottles and cans to places where they can be recycled. We tie up newspapers and bundles and put them out at the curb so the recycling truck can pick them up. Old paper can be recycled into new paper. Oh, I am so happy. There is so much we can do to help our world. So right here, it reminds you what those are. Number one, respect and be kind to all living things. Number two, take care of plants in your neighborhood. Number three, reuse things rather than throwing them away. Number four, give used and outgrown clothes, books, or toys to someone who might want them. Number five, choose things that can be used over and over again. Number six, fix broken things. Number seven, do not waste water. Use just what you need. Number eight, do not waste energy. Turn the light off when you're not in the room. Number nine, always put trash where it belongs. And number 10, recycle paper, bottles, plastics, and cans. There's the list right there. All right, friends, have a good day. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed the book. Bye-bye.